what is going on youtube i am back with another video and as you can see i am in toro so if you haven't already make sure you like comment subscribe all that good stuff and definitely turn on that notification bell um as you can see the by, by the title the description the thumbnail everything all right we're going to be talking about how much it costs to own a 2020 dodge challenger 1320 all right the exact car that i'm sitting in i'll discuss insurance you know everything from credit down payment trade-in value you know, to you know, to literally what it's gonna cost you to own one of these things, man. Um, and then you know, we'll get talking about 1320 a little bit. Um, but other than that, let's get into the action and let's go. All right, you guys. So let's go ahead and just break out the window sticker. Um, let's let's talk about the price of the actual car itself before anything. Um, this is a challenger all right so the challengers tend to be a little bit less expensive than a charger just because of obviously four doors versus two and you know a few other specs right but ideally they're going to be around the same price now i did buy this brand new it had five miles on it and those five miles came from my test drive literally off the truck it was in my hands right um but i'm gonna go ahead and show you this is the 2020 dodge challengers rt scat pack 1320 all right, and they'll always have a base price, all right? The base price is 38, all right? 38,995, all right? Um, that is the base price of a Scat Pack Challenger. Uh, give or take the trim level, and what I mean by that is, you know, red suede seats, six piston, you know, calipers, Daytona packages, things like that, all right? Now, when you get into the 1320 package, all right? That is its own package. Um, comes with some demon specs, all right? So, in a sense, this is a baby demon or a demon junior per se is, is what a lot of people kind of get at right um and what i mean by demon specs all right everybody knows this car comes with necks and drag radials all the way around 274 275 40 20s all right it's also going to come with launch friendly suspension all right so the demon suspension is going to come with a trans brake that's in the demon um oh i got some of my eye you guys it's going to come with the rear demon axles um oh adaptive damp uh, dampening systems and things like that that are going to help you at the actual drag strip and help you get off the line right um most scats come with nines and, and nine and a halves um, mine actually came with larger rims right um and what's crazy is what i've learned from a few are some of them are actually coming with differential braces um the hellcat lower air box with the tube you know so it's just kind of a whole bunch going on right uh, mine actually did come with the differential brace all right mind you I never heard of Dodge putting a differential brace on them, but the more I've reached out to a few people, I'm not the only one, right? Now, it's not the bright, shiny red differential brace that, you know, you can get from aftermarket, but there is one, right? Um, but that is the 1320 in a nutshell. There's a little bit more specs from a Demon on it and, and a couple other things that make this car what it is. But with all of that, all right, this is the final price. All right, you're talking $49,665, right? that's before you know taxes and everything else that come with it um you know it would come to about 53 to 55 you know out the door right um some people may look at it like oh you could have got a hellcat or a used one at that my bad let me not say or a new one a used hellcat or a wide body etc that's the time for another video um but again you guys see the price 49.665 all right so let's go ahead and get into what it costs to actually own this car all right i'm not going to talk about gas i'm not going to talk about upkeep i'm literally talking your monthly payments and your insurance etc all right based on a few criterias um and i'll tell you mine all right so a couple of the criteria you want to you know take into consideration when you go to the dealership before you you get this car man it's going to be your credit all right do you have any negative equity on your current car what your trading value is going to be um and things of that nature and of course like down payment if you want to have any down payment um now me i didn't put a single dollar down to, for you know for this car i didn't want to didn't need to etc all right and a couple things you want to make sure you know uh when when talking about insuring the car is of course have you have any wrecks violations speeding tickets things like that anything that's on your history that can affect you know insuring this car because number one when you insure this car it's going to be a little bit more all right i'm gonna go ahead and put it out there um i had a dodge challenger rt uh, obviously the red one you guys see on my channel and I had $90 a month the first six months on my premium and then I decided to up some things and, and lower my deductibles and get a little bit more coverage as far as monetary you know things um, and it jumps up to about 130 right under 100 
140, I think, 131, somewhere, somewhere, somewhere around there, you guys. Um, and of course, getting in this definitely raised my insurance, but you'd be surprised by how much. Uh, partially because I don't have any speeding tickets um, or any wrecks, etc., um, in the past four years. And of course, when you turn 25, that also drops your rate as well. And I am exactly 25. Um, but um, I did jot down some notes because we're gonna, we're gonna talk numbers here. All right. Um, you guys need to understand, all right, when you go in for one of these cars, you cannot have a, a 530 credit score and think you're about to walk out with this car. They're not gonna help, they're not gonna budge. They're, they're literally gonna say, hey, this is your car payment, it's $2,000 a month and that's what you're gonna get, right? Um, now, mind you, my credit score is fairly high. I'm on the higher 700 level. Um, you know, not, not sure how close I am to 800 at the moment. Um, because actually when they ran my credit, I didn't know it can drop it by two to three points, et cetera. But off the top of my head, I'm in the higher 700s, right? Um, your boy takes care of his stuff. Never missed a payment on anything, let alone a late payment, right? So when I went in, I did have a car to trade in, all right? Now, I didn't have many payments left on the car. Um, and I was actually worried because the amount that I started driving it, I was like, man, I'm putting all these miles on it. They're not gonna give me anything for it. I got so worried. I'm like, man, you know, I don't know what's gonna happen. Well, it turned out way better than I thought. Um, on my trade-in for my RT, they gave me $16,000 flat, all right? Which, you know, I guess, you know, a Dodge being the, the hot thing right now, these cars are flying out the door. So they'll, they'll do anything to get a used one to get people in the door and then sell them a new one, right? That's just kind of how they work. Um, but yes, they gave me $16,000 for my red RT Challenger, my 5.7. Um, so you can go ahead and... and do some numbers in your head and understand all right now that 49 is cut down a whole bunch you, you guys you know I, I do not have a high scat payment like a, a lot of people kind of you know think or assume when they see a scat pack hellcat things like that um now that doesn't go to say that my payment is not above average on you know a regular car right this is not a regular car i need you guys to understand that so let's go ahead and check out some of my notes again they gave me $16,000 for my trade-in, all right? So did a you know a, a good bit of negotiation with uh, a guy named Willie, all right? Shout out to Willie. He sold uh, you know he sold me the car over at Keffer on Independence. Um, definitely reach out to him if you need one. He was like super helpful and like literally the negotiation was real quick. He gave me, you know, bottom dollar. I gave my bottom dollar, boom, done, right? It actually didn't take that long. I think I was at the dealership for like an hour. The thing that took me the longest was actually getting my car detailed because I went down there and, and you know, because I'm OCD, right? Um, but yeah, so understand the next thing, all right? And I didn't even know this when I went in there, but they were running power dollars, all right? So if you can grab one of these cars when they run power dollars, I'm telling you that helps out so much, all right? It gave me what I call a rebate or power dollars of about $5,000, right? So in total, Dodge gave me $20,000 towards this car you got um so that definitely took down the price of the car and helped me out a lot to uh you know have the payment that i was looking for all right um now before i get into the monthly payment i'm gonna go ahead and tell you what my rt was and then you know spill the beans about what this is um my rt was about 400 dollars a month all right um now it was my first you know dodge challenger first true v8 everything else was a v6 and things like that but it was my first true V8. Um, and I didn't even, I, you know, I did put some down actually on that one. Um, and I ran a pretty short uh, uh, monthly financing term on, on that one. Um, and it was about $411, $412 a month, I think it was. Um, and then I got into this thinking, okay, I know a few people who pay in between $600 to $750. I was assuming that that's what it was gonna be, all right? Um, now, Again, this is a brand new car, and a lot of the guys that have these scat packs that I know did get used ones, right? I only know a few that got brand new ones. Um, so I was a little little worried because, again, I've never bought a brand new car. This is my first truly brand new car, right? Um, so after you know a good bit of negotiation, we got my payments right at, <laughs> right at $599, all right? So $600 for this car brand new out the door right and again what helps me the most with this down payment you guys or, or not down payment with with my monthly payment was how much they actually gave me for the car now your monthly payment will differ based on your apr your your monthly term or limit that you got approved for by the bank 
and a few other aspects, of course. You're, if you have ne negative equity, your trading value and things like that. You guys need to understand that's all uh, you know on an average, right? But I'm gonna speak for myself, then kind of do a little average thing, right? So, mind you, all right, my APR was 4.39%. So it wasn't bad, all right? The, the uh, financial person at the dealership was like, you know, that's crazy. Um, you know, you're not gonna be able to beat that. So you might not even ever need to quote unquote refinance this, right? And, and a lot of people do, you know, I've never refinanced the car or needed to, but you know, they have to make every option known, right? Um, so again, the car payment was $600 a month, all right? Uh, that's that's not bad for a 2020, 13, 20. And I was super surprised at that. Like, I, I can't lie to you, even with the credit, you know, things like that. But again, I had no down payment, which, uh, you know, if, if I would have gave, I think it was $4,000 down, it would have ended up saving me a heck of a lot of money on the back end. But again, I wasn't, you know, trying to put any money down. I was just trying to walk out with the car and be done. Um, so again, my APR was 4.39%. My monthly payment is $600 a month. Um, and then, of course, my trade-in value was 16,000 and uh, my rebates or the power dollars gave me $5,000, all right? So those are the numbers that you're talking about when you're talking about me personally, right? And again, my credit is in the higher 700s, okay? Um, next thing, next thing, man, that I wanna talk about is, is, is gonna be your overall, your average person looking to get in one of these, all right? When I say average person, I'm talking about your credit scores from six to about 750, right? Um, I had him run numbers just to help me out. Shout out to Willie, man. Again, he did, you know, his uh, utmost, you know, best at, at helping me out, especially for, you know, getting ready for this YouTube video. Um, if your score is going to be between a 600 to a 750, all right, you're going to look at anywhere from 700 to $950 for a monthly payment. All right. I know that sounds crazy. A thousand dollars, that's rent, you know, things like that. You know, credit is, is important when it, when it comes down to this. Um, and that is of course having, you know, no down payment, um, you know, no trade-in value, literally just straight coming to pick up this car and with the smallest APR you can get, which is like 3.1 or something like that, right? Which is unheard of, but you know, there's some people out there, right? So you, that is what your average cost of this car is gonna be if you're gonna go try to get in it without, you know, any extra benefit to it, right? Is again, 700 to $950. That's the low end and that's your high end, right? Um, anything below a 600, they actually will not put you in a scat pack more than likely i'm not gonna lie to you but to each their own you know if, if they want to push the cars they can right so next thing i want to talk about you guys all right is going to be insuring the car all right and this is where we're going to you know talk about numbers and finally add some things up talk about my rt first all right my rt again was like 90 dollars in the beginning then it got out to about 140 all right um this I ran a whole bunch of numbers first from different insurance companies trying to kind of see, all right, who's going to give me the best deal and give me the best coverage, right? Because now what I've kind of learned is the lower deductible, even though you pay a little bit more out per month, you know, that'll definitely help you out through the stress of obviously if you get in a wreck or something happens to your car, you're not dishing out thousands of dollars to try to fix it on top of, you know, not having your child, right? And, and what I mean by that is not having your car. Um, so I did decide to kind of keep some of the higher premium things in my insurance and keep my deductibles low. Um, and I'll go ahead and pop some stuff up, up on the screen right quick, right here, all right? Um, and that's gonna show on average what it's gonna cost to insure your car. And that's $160 or $190, depending on what deductible you want and how much coverage, et cetera, that you want, okay? That is on average, you guys take a look, all right? Um, but. For me, I decided to go with a $250 deduct deductible for almost everything from collision to, uh, you know, a person with no insurance and, you know, that hits my car, all kinds of stuff that includes a deductible. Um, and it ends up being, let me make sure before I not, you know, I not lie to you guys. $151 a month, all right? Um, that is, it's like 150 32 right? So $151 a month is what I pay to insure this car. Again, that is with a $250 deductible, not a five, not a, a you know, a thousand. Uh, so it ended up turning out really, really good. But again, my track record is very, very clean. Um, I haven't gotten into any type of issue since 2016 and I actually got thrown out for a quote unquote improper equipment or a speedometer, right? Um, shout out to my lawyer um, or whoever it was at the time. Don't remember, it's 2016, you know. But anyway, so that's $150. So let's go ahead and crunch my numbers first, all right? So again, my payment is gonna be $600, all right? 
that is included with gap through the actual dealership all right because they actually forced me to have gap on this car i can't lie the bank that i went through forced me to have gap um now without it i don't know what it would have been but i do have gap that was 600 dollars a month for the car right then to insure it a month is 151 dollars. so now you're talking per month 750 dollars to own this car all right that's that's crazy to me right i, I know people that pay upwards of 1200 to you know own the car insurance and things like that man so i, I feel like i definitely came out good um but to each their own everybody's situation is different and i definitely want people to understand if you want the car go get it you know go work for it make sure you can take care of it and do what you got to do man um because i'm all for seeing everybody get what they wanted and, and go up in life right um so the next thing all right i put those uh, uh pictures up for you the 160 dollars and the 190 dollars all right that's your your low your low end and high end right so again it's that 700 to 950 dollar a month range for your average person to go get in these cars so let's say you're at $700 on the low end and you decide to go on the low end for your insurance and it's about 160. You're talking $860 a month for the car. That's still not that bad per month to own a brand new 2020, 1320, all right? Like I said, again, it all depends on a few things. And then let's say you're on the high end at about 950 and then $191 per month, all right? You're gonna be sitting at that 1,000 to 1,200 mark, all right? That's a good bit of money to, to get in one of these, all right? Um, but again, everybody's gonna do what they want. Um, so now that I've kind of spilled the beans on what it costs to own a 1320. All right, you guys, you know, it, it is still a 6.4392. All right, your insurance company knows it as a 6.4392. Uh, now, I don't know anything about insuring it to put it on the track, you guys. I'm sorry, I can't give you any information on that. Um, you know, because a lot of people are like, oh, why didn't you get a scat? Why didn't you get a regular one if you're not going to put it on the track? You know, nobody said I wasn't, but at this time, I'm really not. Um, you know, too much can go wrong, and I'd rather get used to the car, learn how to launch it, launch it, and things like that before I go out there and just look stupid, right? Because these things can do an 11.7 and lower, um, from what I've seen, man. And, and you know, I definitely want to want to try to touch some of those numbers, but um, can't help you on that aspect. Uh, you can reach out to Destroyer Grade 1320 and some other people on Instagram that can definitely help you out. Um, but yes, you guys, $600 a month, $150 to insure it. $750 a month to own a Dodge Challenger 1320. You know, let me know if you have any questions. Um, and again, shout out to Willie over at Keffer on uh, Dodge on Independence, man. He, he definitely did his thing to get me in this. Um, and that is a wrap.